Hello, welcome back to Kelly Martin Speaks. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about decorating your home. Now, to many it might seem like nothing. You're decorating your home, you're moving furniture around, you're painting. To me, it has been creating some big internal and outer changes. Some of you may know from my feng shui video a little while back, I moved my furniture around. Um, some of the movements caused arguments between me and my housemate and then I changed it and we got more harmony into the home again. I'm a big believer that your inner world is reflected in your outer world. And if your outer world changes, it can also, you know, affect your inner world, which probably many of you will know from how you feel in certain environments. Now, we have had this flat of ours in a kind of cream, um, beige, not beige. What is that? What is that pink colour? It begins with an M. I forgot, completely forgot. But it's like a whitey cream colour. <laughs> magnolia, that's it, magnolia. For about six years now. It was good in the beginning because we had a horrendous green wallpaper before from previous owners. And once we got rid of that, we had this light space and I was like, wow, <gasps> got rid of the green. But over seven years, I've kind of felt a bit sort of depressed, almost not depressed, sort, sort of like my space was a transitionary place, like I haven't actually grounded myself or rooted myself or made it a real home because I always was living for the future and living what's coming next, what's coming next and um, this past year and a half of being present with what is, feeling my feelings and getting an understanding of what's going on for me has made me realise, yeah, why not make it a home, you know? If things change in the future, they change in the future. But I'm here right now and my environment is where I live. So we made a dramatic change. Michael wasn't too bothered about it, but I really felt I needed change. So we have lavender and we have, I don't know if you can see it, a raspberry pink, sort of a raspberry diva it was called very very different much more vibrant and it felt like it reflected my soul my spirit colors my energy colors and a little quick round of what happened during the period of decorating me and mike fought like cats and dogs we primarily from me i had a lot of resistance come up my inner child was very upset my inner child was angry my inner child was blaming him for lots of things. She was in a real hissy fit tantrum mode. And it was because of the colours coming in. It was a big change for me. And I also realised as I painted, I played some meditation music, lit some candles. I asked for energy of the colours to go into my room, into the home of, of our home. And um, I realised I was painting my relationship with Michael away. Now I know that in the future me and Michael will part, it is meant to be, we aren't meant to be together forever. I just know this in my heart, he's meant to go in one direction, I'm meant to go in another. We're not able to change that at the present, but painting reflected that for me and as the last little bit of magnolia went, it was quite an emotional experience for me and we're still in the process the place is a bit of a mess right now we've got furniture to move around still we've got some soft furnishings to put in um, but it feels like a change a necessary outer change to reflect the inner change and I've moved some areas in my prosperity corner I've moved my wardrobe and uh, just move things away from the walls let the energy into the corners of the home I brought plants in to help with the mould problem that we have and the dampness and also to bring the chi and get the energy flowing. So I just wanted to say that if you are feeling inwardly stuck, depressed or down and you have a little bit of resources to change your outer environment in some way, try it out and be easy with yourself because it can have an effect on how you feel and sort of look at the colours you're choosing, what do they represent for you what does it mean? What are the changes taking place? And what will the effect have on your relationships and who you are and how you feel? Um, and if you feel uncomfortable, 
take it easy it's just part of the shift uh, just wanted to do a little video I don't know if it's very interesting for anyone but to me I feel like you can paint your soul in your outer walls <laughs> uh, speak to you all soon thanks for listening